What is up guys, this is Transaron38 coming at you with another Transformers Titans Return action. And today we're taking a look at the new Titans Return. Legion's class, Autobot Rewind. And there he is, in his nice spy tablet mode. And first and foremost, let's take a quick look at the packaging. A nice artwork of Rewind there, very nice. And he's compatible with Autobot Blaster. So if you got Autobot Blaster... So if you got Autobot Blaster, he's compatible. Come around in the back, you got your obligatory product shots of Rewind. He turns into a spy tablet mode. Vehicle mode is a tank. And robot mode. And I can really see Megatron repaints after this. So, <laughs> again, or Warpath. I can see Warpath being repainted. Um, so, there's a little bio. Mini tank rolls out with Autobot Blaster. So, pst, wow. So, enough with the packaging, moving right along here, we got a nice obligatory collector's card of Rewind here. So, very nicely done. Coming around back, you got your tech specs of them. Speed, strength, intelligence, and firepower. So, very nice. Collector cards, yay. So, moving right along here, we got Rewind in his spy tablet mode. Come on, focus in, camera. There we go. You got that nice uh, plastic, uh, sparkly plastic that they use. It's very nice. Very nice sparkly plastic. So, he's a nice little spy tablet. And uh, you can use his gun as a one of them uh, pens. You can act like he's a little iPad, you know. And uh, for storage, there's a groove over here. Just tab this in. And storage, yay for storage. And you do have a little phone jack here, just similar to uh, Laserbeak. Uh, the headphone jack actually works, which is pretty cool. It has a nice playability going on there. So, very nice decal there going on for the spy tablet. You get the battery power and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So, if like I said, if you had Autobot Blaster bring it up here a little bit so if you had an Autobot blaster he can fit right in here now not to drop him he fits right in here like so so very neat playability going on with that Bravo Hasbro Bravo so enough said moving right along he does have an X mode which is a tank well before I even do that you want to see size comparison Autobot wheelie in his vehicle mode See how big this thing is compared to them. So, set him off to the side. To get him in his tank mode, what you want to do is untab these sections here. Bring them up like so. Then you come around to the back here. You want to move these up like so. And before you even bend his arms, you want to get the gun out, set it off to the side, bend these up, and you can see right here, I can see this really breaking here in the mid future on all these figures. On all these figures. See how, how close this joint is? You're pushing down on the plastic and it's not, it's really hard. I thought I was going to break them when I first got them, but again, what could you do? So, Enough said. Uh, get them up there like that. Sandwich them together. And there's these tabs on each side of the tank. The tab the both sides of the tank in together. Like so. Then you grab the gun. There's two little slots right in there. You can see grooves right here. You just sandwich the tank together. And push that in. And boom. You got them in tank mode. So yeah, very little tank. Very neat. You got a little wheel. One, two, three wheels for underneath of them. Very neat. And uh, just for a quick quick comparison here, he does come with uh, the holes for your Titan Masters. So we'll grab uh, the Titan Master to uh, Fort Max here. Sit him on top. So, 
Very neat. Playability, like I said, for uh, these Titan Masters. So enough said, moving right along to robot mode. Pull out the gun. From there, untab the arms from each side here. Rotate them. Bring them up. Come around to this side here. Unpeg the legs. Rotate them down. Bring up his toes from the treads. And you can see nice silver on the treads. Bring down his chest piece. Rotate up his head. And there we go. We got rewind in his robot mode. And you can see that sparkly plastic with the camera on these figures. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool that they had that. It makes I do believe it makes the plastic look a lot better on camera. I do believe. So very neat. Give him his gun right there. So. Yeah, very G1 looking rewind. You got the nice chest piece going on there. So, nothing much going on here. Very G1 head sculpt. So, yeah, very cool little figure. So, just to see how big he is, bring in Starscream from the previous review. Get you guys a little clumps on that move out off to the side so there is Autobot Rewind in his robot mode so it's a very cool little figure very good for your uh, Fortress Maximus and your uh, battle platform guys like uh, Autobot Blaster here have him for playability with all that stuff so it's pretty neat how they did all that so, articulation wise for him, rotate this all the way around, elbow joint, swivel at the elbow, nice range of movement going on with the hips and the knees, heads on, not a ball joint but a swivel, but it's on a hinge to go back into transformation for his chest, so you can use that. So, ENF said going on here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this Titans Return figure Autobot Rewind. So, you know, I said, guys, I hope you guys keep a lookout for new videos headed my way, headed, headed you guys' way. Can't even talk today. Um, and don't forget to check out my game channel. It's Smokescreen38. It'll be down in the description below. And don't forget to check out uh, my uh, Facebook page. It's uh, Transurn38 Cybertronian Pit Stop. I'll have that down in the description below also so it also don't forget to check out game dungeon productions web junior 1977 might mouse 74 v revolticon and prom john one their links will be down in the description below so enough said guys this is transurn 38 talking again have an awesome day